Hi, my name is Elliot, and welcome back for another tutorial um, in our game creation tutorial series. Uh, this time, again, we're using Construct 3, and we are going to be making a platformer game, which, uh, if you don't know what a platformer style is, it's the kind where you have the player jump from sort of like platform to platform, kind of like in the old Mario Brothers style. And uh, we're not going to be making uh, one that is specifically education related uh, like our previous um, one which was on like white blood cells and stuff so um, I'll show you what this platformer game looks like and then uh, yeah we'll get into building it okay so I have it here Oops. let me reset this um, and what we're gonna do is basically we're in control of some odd coin shaped wooden guy with a palm tree stick and you can use the arrow keys, right, left, up, uh, down, doesn't do anything here. And we can jump, as you can see, from platform to platform. Um, you can see enemies, snails, that when they hit you, you flash. You can jump on top of them to actually destroy them. And right now we don't have any kind of user interface where you can detect points and life and health and all that stuff like that. Because we're just going to go over the basics and those kinds of... Um, sort of heads-up display stuff uh, we covered in the first tutorial but if you need help which probably you do because I always need a reminder of these kinds of things then uh, we can go over that some other time but as you can see I haven't even finished making this level there's no start page or, or end scene or even goal really and there's no way to die other than jumping off committing suicide uh, and that's it and that's the game okay so uh, what we're going to do, let's go back, um, oh, uh, this is important to know, that all the files that you will need for this tutorial are um, in my Google Drive, which should be open to all of you for uh, downloading if you need to, and the link should be down in the description for the video, so you should be able to find it there. Okay, alright, so let's get started with our game creating. So you're on the main page for Construct 3, hopefully, still. Um, you've logged in, so you have your special little custom icon for your um, account. And we're going to click on the red Get Started button. It'll bring you to this page, which uh, then you'll just go to the Launch Construct 3 button down at the bottom, and it will load it for you. Uh, here it'll give you some notice notices about public beta, things like that, and then a Game Jam license. Just say OK if you want to read it. Great. So. Uh, on the start page, you have buttons here where you can click on to load old files or old projects. Uh, we're going to create a new project, though, and we're going to call it Jungle Platformer. Oops, not Platformer. You can call it whatever you want, obviously, but this just makes sense because that's what it is. Um, the preset that we're going to choose is going to be a 1080p landscape preset, and then we're actually going to change the viewport size that they have here. So we're going to change this to 4,000 by 2,040, okay. which may sound strange, but and you can change this actually later on if you'd like, but for now we'll just make it this big because uh, that's what the tutorial said. All right, and then um, orientation will still be landscape, and we will not optimize it for pixel art. So I'm going to create. Okay. By the way, uh, all the things I'm showing you here are from the Scira or Sira tutorial on uh, making a platformer. So if you need to follow actual written text instructions and pictures and things like that, because it's very helpful actually what they have, then you can go to the tutorial that they have. And I should have the link down in the description also, so you can follow that way if you need to, because that's kind of what I did. And then now I'm basically just showing you what I did. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, first thing is actually this size is too big I don't know why it jumps up to the size we're gonna shrink this down to what we said before 4,000 by 2048 for the layout size okay that's the first thing now uh, we're going to make our background which is a tiled background so I'm gonna double click on the back uh, plane layout page and I'm going to scroll down till it says tiled background right there. 
Okay, so click on that, double click if you want to, or just insert, and it'll bring up this plus cursor. You can click anywhere for now, and it will show up with the editor. Now, with the editor, we are going to load an image. So the files, uh, hopefully that you've downloaded by now, are somewhere on your computer. Go to that folder, find them, find the one that says background, oops, and just click open. And you should get this very zoomed in picture All right, of your background tile. That's great. Okay, and then what you're going to do is close it because we don't want to actually edit it at all, like change colors or things like that. We could if we want to, but we don't want to do that right now. Uh, and then you'll have your little tile right here, uh, which is obviously too small. So we're going to have to make it bigger. Uh, so to do that, you're going to change its position to 0, 0, which is up in the top left corner. Okay, And then the size that we want to make it is the size of our actual layout. So 4,000 by 2048. Hit enter, and voila. We have our beautiful background. Okay. If you want to see the whole thing, you can press Control and scroll down, or Command and scroll, probably, for you Mac users. You get a nice view of this large play area. Okay, great. So